Hello and welcome to Challenge TV. It's 2064 and we've finally run out of episodes of Takeshi's Castle. So we're going to screen a repeat of Only Connect, a quiz that used to be on BBC Four. But this is Only Connect. It's already started. How can references to its being repeated in the future be contained within the programme itself? Well, it was quite an odd show and being made in Cardiff wasn't subject to the same scrutiny as some of the BBC's more mainstream output. Anyway, let's meet the teams that were on that old show 50 years ago. On my right, Hamish Galloway, an actuary from Aberdeen who once played tennis with Angela Rippon. Nick Latham, a lighting director who used to work in a betting shop and travels the world supporting the Welsh football team. And their captain, Davina Galloway, a Scrabble fan who works as a civil servant and advises on the policy of speed cameras. United by family ties, they are the relatives. Now, you faced the Europhiles in your first heat. How did that game go? We lost. <laughs> did you enjoy it anyway? Yeah, the war was a nightmare, but it was a good game. Well, I hope you have an equally enjoyable but higher scoring game tonight. You will be facing, on my left, Keith Andrew, a geography graduate who enjoys baking muffins and gardening for his neighbours. Eric Kilby, a statistician who recently conducted a DNA study of his surname and is planning to build a two-room shed. And their captain, Classic. Tim Westcott, a Swindon FC supporter and former boy soprano who once ran a five-kilometre race inside a prison. They enjoy nothing more than a nice work of art. They are the exhibitionists. Now, you lost your first heat to the Heath family. Is there anything you do differently this time? Well, I think we need to play more strategically. and I need to pay more or possibly even less attention to my teammates. <laughs> yeah. OK, well, two of our teams then lost their earlier heats, which means that tonight one team will be going home. In order to avoid that, you simply need the highest score. And that won't happen unless we start the quiz. So, exhibitionists, you won the toss. You're going first. Choose your hieroglyph. Twisted flax, please. OK. The music question immediately. <laughs> Sorry. What is the connection between these musical clues? Here's the first. That's cricket. That's Caribbean calypso. That's not special. Next. That's a glamour. Okay, next. 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 Domino by Jesse Chuman. Oh, that game, so I don't know. Domino cricket. They're better than last one. Next, please. <laughs> Five seconds. Mm. Mm. Anything? Games. Games. I've no idea. Uh, the Caribbean. That is not the connection, I'm afraid. So, relatives, you have the chance for a bonus point. There's initials in the name, like Booker T and the MGs for Soul Limbo and Jesse J. Um, Boney M. Boney M. That's what Babylon. it is. Single letters or initials. Booker T, Jesse J, Boney M. And did you know that second one? can't remember what it was. No? Um, Iced Tea. Uh, you no, know, it wasn't Iced Tea, although, good guess, Dirty Cash by The Adventures of Stevie V. <laughs> so, that's right. Single letters and you get the bonus point. Please choose your own question. Uh, could we have the Eye of Horus, please? You certainly could. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Pandas at Edinburgh. Next, please. Something that's been imported into the country. Next, please. No. <laughs> Given all his gifts to the country. Yeah, somebody has given his gifts from another country. Uh, things that have been given from other countries as gifts. Um, from one country, from to, one country to another, like the, the pandas to Edinburgh Zoo and the Statue of Liberty from France to America. They are gifts from one country to another. The last one was the Trafalgar Square Christmas tree that's given from Norway. That's in thanks for the UK support of Norway during the Second World War. 100,000 tulip bulbs given from whom to whom? Amsterdam. To Holland to <laughs> somewhere. See, actually, no, they're given from Canada to Holland. Ah. And that's to say thank you for wartime support as well. And now these pandas, Char Char and Ching Ching, they were a gift from China to the UK in 1974. Do you know what wonderful thing 
did Britain do for China in 1974? 74? No idea. I'll tell you, it sent Edward Heath on a visit. Oh. <laughs> the Chinese were so delighted, they immediately sent some pandas as a thank you. OK, exhibitionists, your turn again. Which question would you like? Two reads, please. Two reads. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Yes, yeah, OK. Right. Next. Next. Well, it can be Christmas in, in Vicky. Barcelona. Lots of Vicky from Barcelona. Was Martin Cotillard in some roof called Paris? Possibly. Go one more. Yeah. Next, please. Yeah, she was yeah, in the Rose. Rose. Oh, yes, they were in a film. Yeah, that. they were all in films with, with, in with that word in the That's title. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. These are all actresses that have starred in films with the city in the name. Can you tell me any more? Yeah. Purple Rose of Cairo. Barcelona. Yeah. We don't know the Paris one, do we? Purple, Purple Rose, Rose of Cairo. Cairo. Uh, not sure Vicky Christina Barcelona. And we're not sure about Paris. Well, I'm going to accept it because they are all stars that were in films with those cities in the title. I'll show you the last clue. Manhattan, Diane Keaton. Can you tell me any more, relatives? Uh, no. no, we no? can't. Woody Allen films. Woody Allen films. Vicky yeah. Christina Barcelona, Purple Rose of Cairo, and Manhattan. And uh, the first one, Midnight in Paris. Midnight in Paris. Oh. So, specifically, Woody Allen films and those stars. But you get the point because they are, of course, all films. So, back to you, relatives, to choose a question. Water, please. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Hamish will answer. <laughs> uh, they're known as the father of... The person is known as the father of the thing above. Coming in after two clues, I will give you three oh, points. Known as the father of... You didn't need to see history. That would be Herodotus or the father of medicine, Hippocrates. Very <laughs> well done indeed. Do you know the names of W.C. Handy, father of the blues? I have no idea. Do you know his names? William Christopher. Oh. Nice okay. little triv fact for anyone who's got a quiz coming up. William Christopher Handy, father of the blues. So, well done, and back to you exhibitionists for a choice. Lion, please. Lion. These are going to be picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. I don't even know what that is. Next. Some animals and seals or something. Next. 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 Bowls. Crown green bowls or bowls. No, I've done what the first one is. Come Next. On. Porridge. Bowls, porridge. Next, please. It's big rules, isn't it? Yeah. It's, um... Five seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Not the answer, I'm afraid, so there's a bonus chance for you relatives. Nicholas? Uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's Goldilocks! Goldilocks! The first clue is oyster beds. So she finds the beds in the house, bowls, porridge, and finally the three bears. Goldilocks! Yeah, Little Red Riding Hood is all yeah, about the yeah, wolf yeah. that dresses as Grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get the bonus point, relatives. Well done. And the last question, the horned viper, will go to you. What connects these clues? Here's the first. Lucky yeah, me. Should we go for that? Next, please. I don't know. Okay, that's not going for that. Uh, next, please. Oh, no, no, no. I think you've got to hit it to start it. Go with it. Yeah. You've got to hit it to start it, to make it go. It's a, or someone can hit it to start it. Somebody can hit it to start it. Brilliant. That is the answer. My question editor calls it percussive maintenance. <laughs> That's what I meant. But if you hit them, you solve the problem or make it work. The Bouldermobile that was hit by the Slag brothers in the wacky races with a club. Apollo 12 fuel element. Anyone know that story? Someone had to hit it. To... <laughs> well, the, the fuel element got stuck in a casket. And uh, the astronauts hit it with some sort of space hammer and it started working again. Doc Brown's DeLorean, what's that from? Uh, it's Back to the Future. Back to the Future. And who hits what with what? Uh, Marty right. McFly hits 
his head on the steering wheel in frustration and it starts. And the last one, do you know where that's from? Happy, Happy Days. Happy Days, the Fonz. Happy Days, the Fonz hits Arnold's jukebox at Arnold Drive-In to make it work. Very well done. So at the end of round one, the exhibitionists have got two points. The relatives are ahead with eight. <laughs> round two is the sequences round. Teams may see a maximum of three clues before telling me what comes next. Exhibitionists, you'll be going first again. Please choose a question. I have Horus, please. I have Horus. OK. What would you expect to see fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. Next. Oh, what is it? Is it uh, things on Mars? Is it curiosity? Curiosity. Yeah, um, Mars rovers. I don't know. Mars. Yeah, curiosity is the latest one. Yeah, curiosity. 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 All successful Mars rovers. The next is Curiosity. Well done, NASA missions to Mars. Over to you, relatives, for a sequence question. Uh, twisted flax, please. OK. What would come fourth? Here's the first. Uh, uh, next, please. Next, please. Freedom with is the animals are farming wood. Um, I'd take a stab at Badger. Five seconds. Yeah, go for it. Badger? Not a sequence, I'm afraid, so there's a bonus chance for the exhibitionists. Bear? I don't know. Fourth, a beaver. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a bit like a beaver, a bit like a bear, uh, you know, but what was your answer? Badger. Badger. A <laughs> bit like a beaver, a bit like a bear, a bit like a badger, but actually, the gruffalo. Oh. These oh. are the creatures that the mouse meets oh, okay, okay. as it progresses <laughs> through the book The Gruffalo. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the mouse convinces these animals that the gruffalo will eat them, and then it meets the gruffalo itself. Back to you, then, exhibitionists, to choose a question. Two reads, please. Two reads. These are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. The beam. Two feet on the beam. Next. <laughs> What's that? It's, uh, it's main. It's main. Big one up. Main. It's not main. It's right at the top. It's on the case. It's main. Oh, New Hampshire. Come on. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. want the next one. Next. That's up. That's up. 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 Uh, beam, beam Scotty. me up, Scotty. 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 Something with Scotty in it. Scotty. <sighs> a picture of a Scotty dog yeah. is what we went for. The answer yeah. is Scotty okay. from the phrase beam me up, Scotty, that was used in most episodes of Star Trek. <sighs> Put your pens down, Trekkies. I know it wasn't said on Star Trek. I'm just teasing. Back to you, relatives, to choose a question. Uh, lion, please. Lion. OK, what's the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh, Where's the sequence? Do I don't know. Next. next, please. Brown girl. Um, well, girl the Is it not Sumo? Um, don't know. How is it Sumo? Brown girl. Well, well, they're not there. Walled off. Seconds. I'm afraid the time is up, so there's a bonus chance for the exhibitionists. Uh, something... Hotel Brown... I need an answer. A gold ring. Gold ring is not the answer. Now, we would have accepted Diaz or Crow. Cameron. Something that you can put Cameron in front of. Girl in the ring is the clue there. You can put Brown before that, of course, and you can put before the others... 
major for Major Domo. Blair Waldorf is a character <sighs> in Gossip Girl. Major Blair Brown. And next would be something you can put after Cameron. For example, Diaz. Fiendish. No points there. Exhibitionist, see your turn to choose a question. Water, please. Water. OK. The last question specifically for you of this round. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. Next, please. Okay. So it's, it's going, it's going south. What's, What's the fourth one now? The sky. The mobile sky. The mobile sky. I've no idea. Um, I don't know. Mobile sky. Mobile. Yeah. They in order of size? No, no, I've no idea. Just in order of geographical. Bad press. The skies were biggest. So Five seconds. Best. OK. Uh, the sky. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So, you get a bonus chance, relatives. I'm going to hand to our Scottish contingent. Who'll get it wrong? Uh, mainland Orkney. Well, I'll accept it. I, just the mainland is the title, but they are the Orkney Islands in order of size and the largest mainland, or the mainland. Yeah. I'd also have accepted... I don't know how to pronounce it, but Horossi, which is sort <laughs> of an ancient name for the mainland in the Orkneys. But well done for the bonus point. And it's your team's question now. The Horned Viper is what remains. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Four dollars. Next, How please. How is the sit where the, the symbol comes up on the key and the computer key? Next, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Dot one, two, seven. Five, six, seven. Um, what is seven? I don't know. <laughs> um, slash signs at eight. No, it's a... Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. Well, I'll come next and see what the next one is. Next, please. Well, we know what's going to be next. Is it the down one? Three seconds. Last I'll ask Hamish to answer. Uh, <laughs> uh, the star sign. A star sign eight. Star Asterisk. sign seven. Asterisk. Not Asterisk. the answer, I'm afraid. So, exhibitionists, you have a bonus chance. It's above the seven. Is it, is it left bracket? Le uh, left bracket. That's Seven. not it no, either. I think you're both right. These are the symbols on a keyboard going with the numbers ascending with number seven. An ampersand. Oh, an and sign. That's what with number seven. At the end of round two, then, the exhibitionists have six points. The relatives have nine. <laughs> Time for the connecting wall. 16 clues that need separating into four neatly connected quarters. The relatives will be going first this time. So, relatives, you have a choice. Lion or water? Uh, lion, please. OK, you've got two and a half minutes to solve this wall, starting now. Right, um, rivers, yellow river, no, yeah. funk, organ, depression, blues. Yeah, well, that's Humidor sort of... is something you keep things in. Uh, OK, um, blues, paradise lost, paradise gained, depression. The uh, arc sign is a mathematical function. So what else yeah, is a mathematical a function? function? But there's okay. not seeing any... Uh, okay. Misery is a familiar. Well, a gorge and a glen and a dale and a basin um, and a depression. Or... OK, keep working on them. Yeah. Okay. What about funk music, organ music, blues, blues music. and something else? Some sort of music. Yeah. Misery? No. Okay. Well, Misery, sorrow, blues and funk are, 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 are okay. things yeah. are upset. Right, Three on. strikes right. and you're out now. Okay. Right, come on, I think now. Uh, <laughs> double trouble. Um, organ donor. Double talk. Double trouble, double talk. Double yellow. Double yellow. And double organ, double arc sign, double dale, double paradise. And what are the others? Humidor, it's something well, you keep things in. I can't. It's, what's the humidor? Oh, well, you keep cigars. You keep cigars yeah, in the humidor. Yeah. Um, but it wants to have now. something like a, a, a word connection between them. OK, we haven't got um, them. A, them a Dale, Dale, somebody or other. You've got a minute left. Um, organism you play, organism um, you play. Um, body. I think we want well, to try, try double... Double organ? Double organ. That's no. Double, double. Are we happy with those three yeah. doubles? 
double deal, double humidor. Try double humidor, give me a bigger version. Nope. This is the last one. One more go. Touch anything. What's the arc sign? Arc sign is that is when you go mm -hmm. back. Okay. Um, so what is it? Paradise. Buddha paradise. Yellow Buddha. Halfway to paradise. Um, Just pressing me. Paradise City. Well, double. We'll try. What did we try? Ten we'll try seconds now. Double deal. Double deal. Come on, try anything. That's not it. So your strikes are up. The wall's frozen, but you found two groups. So that's two points. I'll give you bonus points, of course, for the connections. So, Gorge Glen Basin Depression. They're just uh, uh, geographical features for things, you know, the holes down. in the earth. That's it, hollows or valleys in the landscape. Misery, sorrow, funk, blues. Just, uh, when you're happy. When you're, yeah, yeah, for when sad. you're feeling down, sad. Yeah, yeah for That's sadness, it, yeah. terms for sadness. And you can still get points for the connections of the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. OK, yellow, talk, trouble, paradise. It can all be doubled. Yeah, OK, it can all be doubled. Double, double yellow, double talk, double trouble, double... Yeah, but it falls down at paradise, I'm afraid. You can't double that. No, they are actually songs by Coldplay. Oh. Coldplay oh, songs are those. And the last group, arc sign, humidor, dale, organ. Oh, Something you keep oh. things in. A mathematical functions. You're not seeing it, so I'm no. going to tell you. They are anagrams of chemical elements. Oh. Oh. Arsenic, rhodium, lead, yeah. argon. Yeah. Anagrams of elements. Oh. But you found two groups and you got two more points for the connection, so that's a total of four. Time to dismantle that wall and construct an entire new one for the exhibitionists. 16 new clues still need sorting in the same old way. Exhibitionists, you will have the water wall. Two and a half minutes to solve it, starting... Now. Bat stump bales or cricket. Pads. Pads, Pads and gloves. Pads. No. Okay, we don't. Do you think there's too many bat bales? Don't get away from pads. Our box as well. The box is too many. I'm pretty sure stump and bales are going to be here somewhere. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, you keep going. Um, Nordic era. Okay. Watch television. What's this? Oh, okay. 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 You ask the box, do you? Do you? Oh, you do? Okay, do. Right. Okay. <laughs> OK. Right. What's Nordic here? Right? No, you definitely Nordic know. here at Daily Star. Right, no. OK. Try and get something different. Well, we're not getting very far here, are we? Yep, yep, yep. I'll just keep going. Nordic era. Nordic era. England. England. Ages. Sea. Yeah. Sea, say things. Sea. Class action. Class. Think you see First class. Class action. Ages. England. Sea plus. Rock of ages. Um, C is a computer it's language. It's a computer language, yeah. There's anything else? No. 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 Okay. Um, Trans Ages, England. England. Helmet. No. Oh, no. Can I do one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Three strikes in your round now. Okay. Let's go. Ten seconds. Okay. Let's try and. Let's see. Ages. Okay. Okay. One more game. Three seconds. No, that's it, and the wall's frozen. But you found two groups, so that's two points. Bonus points for the connections. Watch television, box, drive, sell alcohol. Need a licence. They must be covered by a licence. Bat, helmet, pads, gloves. Cricket or wears. Things you play, wear to play or cricket. Or use to play cricket. Accoutrements in cricket, and you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. 
OK, Stump C Class England. You're not seeing it. You can put middle before all of them. Middle Stump, Middle C, Middle Class, Middle England. And the last one, Bales Players Nordic Era Ages. They are anagrams of herbs. Oh, God, are they really? Basil, <laughs> parsley, coriander and sage anagrams of herbs. But you did find two groups and make two connections, so that is a total of four points. Let's see how that leaves the scores going into the final round. The exhibitionists have 10 points, the relatives have 13. And you can find more walls to play on our website where you can also write your own. But we're going to play the missing vowels round. You know the rules by now. What are the names, phrases or sayings that are disguised by having the vowels removed? Fingers on buzzers teams. The first group are all types of jazz. Relatives? New Orleans. Correct. Exhibitionists? Bebop. Yep. Exhibitionists? Boogie Boogie. Yes. Exhibitionists? Dixieland. Someone's a jazz fan. Next category, slang terms for the wife. Relatives? Trouble and strife. Correct. Relatives? Very indoors. That's right. Relatives? Old lady. That's right. Relatives? Better half. Indeed. <laughs> Next category, things considered unlucky. Relatives? Spilling salt. Yes. Relatives? Friday the 13th. Yep. Relatives? Breaking a mirror. Correct. Exhibitionists. Walking under a ladder. Correct. Next category, plays by Willie Russell. This one's educating Rita. Next clue. Oh, that one's our day out. Next clue. No Willie Russell fans here. It's one for the road. Last clue. Exhibitionists. Jen Valentine. That's it. Next category, hospital departments. But there is no time for any hospital departments because that is the end of the quiz. And the exhibitionists finish with 15 points, but the winners and through to the next round are the relatives with 21. Very well done, relatives. Exhibitionists, I'm so sorry. We have to say goodbye yeah. to you. Thank you very much for coming, and we're sorry to see you go. Join me next time when we'll have more sparkling minds and clever clogs, but not sparkling clogs. That's a different show. More's the pity. Goodbye. <laughs>Welcome to Challenge TV. It's 2064 and we finally run out of episodes of Takeshi's Castle. So we're going to screen a repeat of Only Connect, a quiz that used to be on BBC Four. But this is Only Connect. It's already started. How can references to its being repeated in the future be contained within the programme itself? Well, it was quite an odd show and being made in Cardiff wasn't subject to the same scrutiny as some of the BBC's more mainstream output. Anyway, let's meet the teams that were on that old show 50 years ago. On my right, Hamish Galloway, 
an actuary from Aberdeen who once played tennis with Angela Rippon. Nick Latham, a lighting director who used to work in a betting shop and travels the world supporting the Welsh football team. And their captain, Davina Galloway, a Scrabble fan who works as a civil servant and advises on the policy of speed cameras. United by family ties, they are the relatives. Now, you faced the Europhiles in your first heat. How did that game go? We lost. <laughs> did you enjoy it anyway? Yeah, the war was a nightmare, but it was a good game. Well, I hope you have an equally enjoyable but higher scoring game tonight. You will be facing, on my left, Keith Andrew, a geography graduate who enjoys baking muffins and gardening for his neighbours. Eric Kilby, a statistician who recently conducted a DNA study of his surname and is planning to build a two-room shed. And their captain, Classic. Tim Westcott, a Swindon FC supporter and former boy soprano who once ran a five-kilometre race inside a prison. They enjoy nothing more than a nice work of art. They are the exhibitionists. Now, you lost your first heat to the Heath family. Is there anything you do differently this time? Well, I think we need to play more strategically and I need to pay more or possibly even less attention to my teammates. <laughs> yeah. OK, well, two of our teams then lost their earlier heats, which means that tonight one team will be going home. In order to avoid that, you simply need the highest score. And that won't happen unless we start the quiz. So, exhibitionists, you won the toss. You're going first. Choose your hieroglyph. Twisted flax, please. OK. The music question immediately. <laughs> Sorry. What is the connection between these musical clues? Here's the first. That's cricket. That's Caribbean calypso, isn't it? That's not special. Next. 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 Five seconds. Um, Anything? Games. I've no idea. Uh, the Caribbean. That is not the connection, I'm afraid. So, relatives, you have the chance for a bonus point. There's initials in the name, like Booker T and the MGs for Soul Limbo and Jesse J. Um, Boney M. Boney M. That's what it is. Single letters or initials. Booker T, Jesse J, Boney M. And did you know that second one? I can't remember what it was. No? Um, Ice T. Uh, no, it wasn't Ice-T, although, good guess, Dirty Cash by The Adventures of Stevie V. <laughs> so that's right, single letters, and you get the bonus point. Please choose your own question. Uh, could we have the Eye of Horus, please? You certainly could. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Pandas at Edinburgh. Next, please. Next, please. No. <laughs> Given all his gifts to the country. Yeah, exactly. He's given his gifts from another country. Uh, things that have been given from other countries as gifts. Um, from one country. From to one country to another, like the, the pandas to Edinburgh Zoo and the Statue of Liberty from France to America. They are gifts from one country to another. The last one was the Trafalgar Square Christmas tree that's given from Norway. That's in thanks for the UK support of Norway during the Second World War. 100,000 tulip bulbs given from whom to whom? Amsterdam. <laughs> Holland to somewhere. See, actually, no, they're given from Canada to Holland. Ah. And that's to say thank you for wartime support as well. And now these pandas, Char Char and Ching Ching, they were a gift from China to the UK in 1974. Do you know what wonderful thing did Britain do for China in 1974? 74? No idea. I'll tell you, it sent Edward Heath on a visit. Oh. <laughs> the Chinese were so delighted, they immediately sent some pandas as a thank you. OK, exhibitionists, your turn again. Which question would you like? Two reads, please. Two reads. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Yes, yeah, OK. Next. Next. Well, 
think it'll be Christmas in, in Vicky. Barcelona. Not Vicky, Vicky from the Barcelona. Is Marion Cotillard in some roof called Paris? Possibly. Go on, more. Yeah. Next, please. Yeah, she was yeah. in Purple Rose. Purple Rose. Oh, yeah, so they were in a film with Yeah, they were all in films with, with, with that word in their That's title. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. These are all actresses that have starred in films with the city in the name. Can you tell me any more? Yeah. Purple Rose of Cairo. Barcelona. Yeah. We don't know the Paris one, do we? Purple, Purple Rose, Rose of Cairo. Cairo. Uh, Sure Vicky Christina Barcelona. And we're not sure about Paris. Well, I'm going to accept it because they are all stars that were in films with those cities in the title. I'll show you the last clue. Manhattan, Diane Keaton. Can you tell me any more, relatives? Uh, no. no, we no? can't. Woody Allen films. Woody Allen films. Yeah. Vicky Christina Barcelona, Purple Rose of Cairo, and Manhattan. And uh, the first one, Midnight in Paris. Midnight in Paris. So specifically Woody Allen films and those stars, but you get the point because they are, of course, all films. So back to you relatives to choose a question. Water, please. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. The father of... Sorry? The father of... Hamish will answer. <laughs> uh, they're known as the father of... The person is known as the father of the thing above. Coming in after two clues, I will give you three oh, points known as the father of. You didn't need to see history. That would be Herodotus or the father of medicine, Hippocrates. Very <laughs> well done indeed. Do you know the names of W.C. Handy, father of the blues? I have no idea. Do you know his names? William Christopher. Oh, okay. Nice little triv fact for anyone who's got a quiz coming up. William Christopher Handy, father of the blues. So well done and back to you exhibitionists for a choice. Lion, please. Lion. These are going to be... Picture clues, what connects them? Here's the first. I don't even know what that is. Next. Some animals and seals or something. Next. 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 Bowls. Crown green bowls or bowls. No, I've done what the first one is. Next. Porridge. Bowls, porridge. Next, please. Big rules, isn't it? Yeah. Five seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So there's a bonus chance for you, relatives. Nicholas. Uh, Goldilocks and the 